let's look at another technique. Grab this one down there a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one. So, as the grab is made, you're pinning the arm here, pulling it in. You're gonna go, if I pin it in, let's just be honest. If I do this to someone, they're gonna throw the punch. So I gotta get away from their weapon. So as I pull their arm in, I'm turning this rope like this, and now I've got this technique here, right? So again, he'll walk up, he gives the grab. Grab, counter grab over the top, pull the arm in, and go away from their opposite arm. So we do the technique, let's do it on this side so they can see that. Right. Grab, counter, step back, and then you're gonna to try to pull this, pull him in as much as you can, and you're turning, and as you're getting this, you wanna make sure that there's distance with the stick on both sides so that you can get this lock to take him out. And who knows, you can wedge kick there, take it back or whatever, but you wanna be able to move away from their opposite weapon. The reality of the thing with a stick, and I think that a lot of times you see stick techniques on YouTube or people teaching stick martial arts and all this, a lot of people say, well, I would never do that technique. I just hit them with the damn thing. Well, I agree, 100%. That's not, the, the purpose of the technique isn't to get away from the, the raw reality of like, no shit. But what if you can't? What if you can't? You can't hit them. You're in a position to hit them. No one walks up. If I see someone with a stick, you don't get this far back away from them. I mean, if he's at this point, I mean, I can light him up with a stick. He's on the end of where that fulcrum's gonna be, where the power is. But if I have a stick in my hand, and he gets this close, well, yeah, we can do a lot of things. We can throw a strike here, you can strike into the knee, you can strike into the groin. But the point of training in martial arts is to be more educated and to be more skilled than the person that's attacking you. So a lot of these techniques that you see where we have sticks and we're doing some sort of like a strike into a lock or a lock into a strike or vice versa or whatever, it's not because I'm saying that's the number one technique you should do during the, in that moment. I'm saying this is a technique you should do in that moment. If I had a stick I'm, and someone grabs me, I'm going to do the, the, the things that I know that are the easiest things to get away with at first. So I go up the ladder. I'd strike the knee. I'd strike the groin. I'd just do a shot into the throat like this, pushing them back and then coming in. Here, turn this way. I can see the inside. So like from here, you can like, boom, that bends them over and then you slam that into the stick in this way. You know what I mean? And then, you know, who knows what you're doing from there. But still, I mean, I would always go into the, an easy technique first, something quick and effective and then move on from there if I have to. But just because it's like, just because you could take a stick and go like this as someone's growing doesn't mean that you've mastered martial arts. <laughs> Did you catch what I'm saying? You have to be real about it. You have to understand that there are times where even that isn't gonna work. I mean, if people, most people that uh, they attack you, they're, they're not all up there anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, and if they're hyphened on drugs or they're alcohol or whatever, they don't feel pain the same way. You know, so just this little tippy tap stuff doesn't always end the problem. You know what I mean? So we have to train our bodies to be greater and to be better than the attack. That's why you see so many techniques. And then you get the people who don't really train in martial arts that get, oh my God, how many stick techniques do they have? Oh, well, how many techniques do they have against the grab? Well, that's the reason why we have so many techniques. It's because we want to have a diverse group of things that we can do. Given the situation, we want a higher level of skill, right? It's like if people, they only know how to do this, this one technique or this one, and they can only dance a certain way on a certain floor in certain shoes, okay? But what happens if you're going to go dancing and you're not in that music on that floor in those shoes? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, 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 the same thing is it's any type of, any, any form of art, um, art is a means expression. And martial arts is just an expression of who we are through combative motion. You know what I mean? I can't imagine anybody being stuck in a box. I know my ass isn't in anybody's box, right? So we want to learn as many as we can, right? So let's do a technique one more time. He's going to give me a grab. You guys, probably most of you got, most people on the other side of the camera probably know the technique is Mushidori, right? Warrior take, but I'm just going to take it in. I'm pinning the arm, bringing him in close, rotating back, and then locking this way. And then from there, you just, you know, you just keep going. You just break it and move on with it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's work on just getting that lock, and then we can go kind of go on from there, okay? Ah, very good.